35 jets or, or two different types going forward. Um, why isn't that a case? Uh, advocates of having two engines say that, say that it resulted in savings in the past when the Air Force did it on the F-16 program. So why isn't that an example of something where the Air Force should, uh, should keep two, two manufacturers going? You said it exactly right. Uh, here's the deal. You know, people look back at history in the 80s. A, a key thing to understand is that we're not operating with the Dash 100 engines of, of, of the vintage 80 era anymore. These are, these are much more reliable, much, much better products than they were in the 80s. That's point one. Point two is that we currently operate aircraft with a single engine. Uh, admittedly, these are two engine aircraft, but, but the F-22 is, is a single engine, F-119. The F-18 is a single engine, the F-414. Uh, the bottom line is this is not unprecedented. Third, I don't deny that that competition might well result in some savings over the long run. <clears throat> the question is whether we can afford it in the short term. And I have to be candid that if Rolls and GE are so confident that their product will succeed and, and you know, bring value to the taxpayer, I'm, I'm just you know, it would be nice if they put a little bit more uh, against that $1.9 billion bill that they'd like the taxpayer to make. 